<coughs> so how to market your business on Facebook uh, when Facebook has blocked your ad account uh, if anybody don't know who I am I'm Rosin Fache and that's a question for years I had and I thought that maybe you guys that are just starting out on Facebook ad or setting up your ad account because everybody's telling you that's where you need to go everybody's telling you that you know because Facebook what is billions and billions of, uh, of people so a lot of people are telling you and plus it's cheap too it's you know it's, it's dirt cheap five ten dollars you know you can really start your business so um, I had this question myself because uh, I've been marketing now for I don't know about 10 years and maybe three or four years ago I started dabbling into um, Facebook paid ads because I heard a lot of people talk about you could get it for like pennies on the dollars and it would be so cheap and I was doing okay I guess for about six months or so and the problem that I ran into was that um, Facebook just they should shut me down and which was very disappointing because the um, everything was going well I mean it really was I was starting to make money more money than I have been making and I was just really excited about um, where it was going and everything and the only thing that I would say that I did wrong or to Facebook standards I really don't understand but you know Either you get stuck there or you move on and you figure out a different way. I got a business credit account, business credit card, and I wanted to change over from my personal credit card to my business credit card. And I did it and went to sleep, woke up, and I'm like, ads rejected or ad, I forgot really the word that they use, but I know it, boosting wouldn't work. I think that's what it was called. Or the boosting's off or something. Or you can't boost ads. That's what it was. You can't boost ads. And I'm like, well, what is this about, you know? So um, I checked and I realized that my account had been cut off or shut down. And I'm thinking to myself, what just happened? So I'm all polite, you know, because you, you got to be polite. You know, it's Facebook and you don't want to get completely cut off. So I'm asking them, what did I do wrong? And whatever I did wrong, I apologize and I'm sorry. Um, I was just trying to change my my account over. It's me. And they they ask you to send your driver's license and some other little bit of information that they want you to send. Did all that, and then you get that that I'm gonna call it a robo email, and we uh, we're checking out your your ads, and you have violated this or you have violated that. But I didn't, in my opinion, I didn't violate anything because all I did was change my credit card but they said I did so I tried it again and I think I may have tried over the years I've tried at least three or four times to ask them and then I was like let me just give up and you know if you can't go in the door I believe you go under the mat you go in the window you come through the attic you put a hole you know as entrepreneurs you got to figure out what to do so um, what I want to share with you guys is a couple of things that you guys can actually do if you have been shut down um, your ads have been shut down from Facebook what you can do is join a couple of groups maybe 10 15 of them a day that are in the same type of vibe that you have you know if you if you are a single parent and you join a couple of single parent groups you know how to make money single parents that kind of thing if if you're marketing, then you join a couple of marketing, you know, affiliate marketing, uh, how to make money uh, from home. You know, if you're looking for a job, you join some of those, you know, for college students and jobs for people, whatever, whatever. Just join a couple of groups a day. And it's, it's so many groups on Facebook, I couldn't, I don't know, 100 million of them or something. Uh, they popping up every day so you can join some groups and you can post your ads that way just make sure you read some of Facebook's um, posting guidelines because you don't want to get um, in what they call Facebook jail because that's another beast in itself that's like about 14 or 15 days where you can't post nothing and that's 14 or 15 days that your business is not up and 
that's a little devastating at times. So be careful when you're posting in those groups. You know, the posting in a group is almost like posting in a form. Add value while you're in there. Uh, make some connections while you're in those groups. Don't just post, 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 you know, buy this, get this, see this. You know, share something, add some value, that kind of stuff when you're in those groups. Uh, another thing that you guys can do on Facebook, you can create your own page and then promote your page to maybe those groups or to your friends or whatever and get your own tribe. And then, you know, keep adding value in your own tribe. And then you just every now and then you sneak in an ad or two and get your own following. <coughs> Excuse me. I got the windows down and, you know, it's allergy time. I think it's starting to get in my throat now. Um, the other thing you can do, which is really big, and that's uh, go live. Facebook, they don't see nothing. They seem like they don't see nothing. People killing people and shooting and all this kind of stuff. And uh, so, you know, you can go live. You can go live and promote your business. You know, go live and get your tribe. Go live and just interact with people. Ask questions, you know, so don't, so go live. You know, so those are those three things that you can do if Facebook shuts you down. That's what I did, and you just keep your business moving on. Now, some other things you can do away from social, from uh, Facebook, you can go to forums, you can go to blogs, you can do email, you can um, uh, do solo ads. There's lots of things you can do. If Facebook has shut your your ads down and you need traffic, who doesn't need traffic to your business? Um, so those are those are some some ideas that you guys, if you're just starting out, uh, you don't have to you don't have to stay there and stuck get stuck because Facebook has shut your ads down. Move on, forget Facebook. Move on, go on to something else. Go on to another whole platform. You know, Facebook is getting a little, you know, having problems here lately. So it might be down a couple of years from now, they might be shutting them down anyway. But if you want to stay there, then I suggest you do those three things. Create your um, your own your own page, promote your page, join some groups, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. And if you guys want to know anything else about marketing your business, if you want to know anything else about what I'm doing or what I'm into, my business, um, follow me on YouTube page. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Rosin Fache, Desire to Change. Um, and I wish you guys the best. And I'll leave a couple of links down here at the bottom. And I'm going to try to cut this off real quick because I can feel my eyes watering up and my throat and anything. But, um, yeah, just go out as entrepreneurs. I just, if I have nothing else to say to you guys as entrepreneurs, we have to figure stuff out. So don't let Facebook or any of these social medias, you know, I know everybody's on them. There's other ways to promote your business without succumbing to all of their hostage because I feel like they hold us hostage when when they when they um, when they shut out shut out ads down we're being held hostage now because now we paralyzed and we don't know what to do so anyway if you guys really want to know um, how to really 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 market your business I'll leave a few links down here at the bottom show you how to market your business how to promote your business to your perfect avatar how to do email marketing anything you guys want to know and i'll post it down here and it's all 100 percent free thanks a lot rosin fashay